everyone, and welcome to the 2020 Bosco Tech Black and Gold Virtual Gala. I'm Memo Gutierrez, president of the school and proud alum. I will be your host for tonight's event. Our planned MC, board chair Martin Hairston, unfortunately could not be with us tonight due to a personal matter. Please keep him and his family in your prayers. While this virtual format is new, the sense of community and gathering to celebrate is unchanging. Today, we honor and celebrate with our community the contributions of Bob Curry and Edison International. We are extremely grateful for their years of participation and service to the tech. Tonight's event also provides an opportunity to share our mission and our program with others while also raising critical tuition assistance funds for students and families in need. Our goal is to raise $40,000 tonight. We are more than halfway there and we hope to hit our goal by the end of the event. When you're ready, just click on the donation button, wish list item, or auction item. Before we begin our program, I'd like to introduce Father Mel Trinidad, our new Salesian Provincial and former Tech Director and Administrator. He will lead us in prayer at this time. Hello everyone. This is Father Mel Trinidad, Provincial of the Salesians of Don Bosco. Welcome to our Bosco Tech virtual gala, and thank you for joining us this evening. Glad to join the Bosco Tech family once again tonight. Uh, this is a community that is dear to me as I have uh, shared many years here at the Tech as director and as teacher so many different years. We have a wonderful program tonight, and I'm so happy to see we are honoring Edison and uh, my friend, Bob Curry. Remember that your donation tonight will help our boys receive the best Salesian College prep technical education. And as always, uh, in any kind of gathering event, uh, we begin with a prayer. And so let us remember we are in God's presence as we pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Most loving and most gracious God, we are ever so grateful for the many blessings you continually give each and every one of our students, their families, our faculty and staff, and all the many who continue to support this Bosco Tech community. We ask you to uh, be with us this evening in wherever part of the uh, um, Los Angeles County or even uh, whatever part of the world we are in. We ask you to help us to focus uh, that whatever we do uh, is always for the benefit of the boys here at Bosco Tech and that whatever we do is for your glory and your glory alone. And we ask all this as always through Christ our Lord, amen. St. John Bosco, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And thank you, and God bless you. Thank you, Father Mel, for the prayer. Glad you joined us this evening. Uh, as the new provincial, Father Mel will return as an active board of trustee member to the school. Congratulations and welcome back, Father Mel. Our program tonight will showcase community members, honorees, and several performances. In a moment, we will be sharing one of our admissions videos so people who are not familiar with our program can get a quick overview of who we are and what we offer. Enjoy the video. For more than 65 years, Bosco Tech has been producing engineers, scientists, doctors, lawyers, entrepreneurs, and leaders in all sectors of industry. Bosco Tech is a Salesian College prep high school with the mission of preparing leaders for advanced university study in STEM topics, science, technology, engineering, and math. Our program in engineering is not intended to convert every student into an engineer. It is simply a means to awaken ingenuity, creativity, and help students discover the gifts and talents that they possess. One.
The advantage of a Bosco Tech education is the combination of knowledge, skills, and morality. Bosco Tech is different in the sense that we have the oratory and we are guided by Don Bosco. He was born August 16, 1815, and became a priest during the Industrial Revolution. He is really a gift from God to the world, especially to young people. Any youth ministry program aims to get students to know and love God. We do it in a unique way because we are a Salesian school. Attending a Salesian school means entering not only a school, but a home, a church, and a playground. It's a home because people are accepted there. They're safe here. They're respected and valued. There's such a strong brotherhood uh, between the kids, and it's like a really big community. There's something special about the school, and it's a sense that you feel more than can explain. I came here to teach for a year. I stayed for a lifetime. We're going to be talking about Torque today. Bosco Tech students have the rare opportunity to study in engineering majors that can only be found at universities and colleges across the country. Our five engineering programs are patterned after what one might find in the top engineering schools in the country. The techs really provide an applications lab for bringing theory into practice. In that regard, there's a lot of hands-on experience, a lot of project-based work, which means teamwork, and certainly critical thinking required. I feel that my internship at Boeing will help me in college by helping me take on new tasks that involve engineering and um, the ability to follow tasks without any outside instruction. An opportunity that I had for growth is through the many clubs and sports that I'm involved in here. The role of athletics in an engineering school like Bosco Tech plays important parts in giving them the opportunity to learn discipline, learn commitment, learn loyalty. This basketball program, it showed me that I have to work on my leadership roles on and off the court. We need a team to work if we want to win. We're trying to offer as many programs as possible for these young men to find out who they are. There's been a long tradition of having music here at Don Bosco Tech. Don Bosco believed a school without music was a school without a spirit. Between academics and humanities, a Bosco Tech student is extremely well-rounded and I think extremely well prepared to lead in every field of human endeavor. At Bosco Tech, we're not worried about the next four years. We're worried about the next 40 years. And we want our students to be leaders in the society of tomorrow. Your donation and support is truly life-changing. As a graduate of the Tech 1983 Automotive, I can attest that my education was instrumental in my formation as a Catholic, a citizen, and educator. My professional career started as a ninth grader. Yes, I didn't know it until I was much older, but the skills, habits, work ethic, spiritual and leadership awareness was developed and honed during my years at Bosco Tech. I was fortunate enough to receive financial aid and I am forever indebted to the donors who believed in our program over 40 years ago. Your gift today will help more young men achieve their dreams while also benefiting our community and country. 2020 has brought on many challenges, but we, the tech, have taken the opportunity to build while many schools and organizations are downsizing and cutting back. Although the campus has been closed for class use, we renovated aging infrastructure and renovated 14 roofs. This was made possible by a generous grant from the Amundsen Foundation. We also saw the need to improve our distance learning and thus upgraded faculty laptops. This grant was made possible by the Michael J. Connell Foundation. We recognize the need and the opportunity to build a new Bosco Tech. This year marks our 66th year in operation. What was clearly relevant in 1955 is different in 2020, and thus we have committed ourselves to develop a new strategic plan. We are excited for the opportunity to include all of our stakeholders as we assess our position and develop new goals that will energize our community and have lasting impact on our students and Southern California. I also want to announce that our 2019-2020 annual report will be sent out in a few weeks. I am pleased to report that we managed a difficult situation while undergoing tremendous COVID-related challenges. I invite you to review our 2019-2020 annual report. Our report will highlight last year's accomplishments 
and the contributions of our community members. Congratulations and thank you. One of the individuals highlighted in the annual report is a graduate of 2020. He was an MSET, was an honor student, ambassador, Red Cross club president, and lacrosse player. I'm honored to introduce Alexis Mendoza. Uh, hello, my name's Alexis Mendoza. I'm a former MSET student and Bosco Tech class of 2020 graduate. Since my first day at Bosco, it had this really warm, welcoming feeling. And it's not one of those feelings that you experience your first day and it's gone within the week. Uh, from my first day as a summer scholar to my last day as a senior, I felt this real big sense of brotherhood that set up the foundation for what I envision as family. Attending Bosco Tech, I feel like I got a lot. Uh, specifically a sense of critical thinking. It's helping me pick a career not only in STEM but in anything I may want because of the work ethic and the rigorous assignments and skills that I've developed here at Bosco. Currently, uh, I'm attending Cal State LA on a full ride, majoring in political science. Uh, I'd like to go into law school and then hopefully get a, a career as a defense attorney. Along the way, I'd like to also double major in business and hopefully invest in uh, future companies. Throughout Bosco, I was always taught that the students here are meant for greatness. We see this in St. John Bosco himself, who was a young man who had really big aspirations and throughout his life was able to fulfill those. So hearing that story throughout my four years at Bosco, it really made me uh, really think that I can do anything that I set my mind to. For any potential students looking at Bosco Tech, I really recommend it because the moment you join, you're not just joining a school, you're joining your own family, someone that you're going to know for the rest of your life, and you're going to get a great education throughout your four years here. Throughout my four years at Bosco, I was on financial aid and scholarships, That's the main reason I was able to attend here and that really set the foundation for my future success because without the education that I received here I probably wouldn't have been accepted to the colleges that I was and wouldn't be attending the college that I currently am. Thank you everyone for having me and I hope you have a great rest of your night. Thank you Alexis for joining our program tonight and for sharing your tech experience. Alexis represents one of many talented high achieving tech graduates. Very proud of his character Alexis had multiple offers from colleges around the country, yet he stayed in Los Angeles to help take care of his family. We wish him well at school and in his career. Are you guys ready for a little entertainment? Yes, I can see those heads nodding. Okay, our performer defines himself as a postmodern vaudevillian, and his shows have been described as preposterous brilliance and wacky jugglement. Please welcome Michael Rayner. We are here at Don Bosco Technical Institute. Look at this place, it's fantastic. And I'm gonna do an amazing trick for you with a tennis racket, two sticks, the anti-gravity trick, but you can do an amazing trick for me by donating today. That's what this is all about, donating for tuition relief. So some of these kids here, they need a little bit of extra help to get in here, and we think it would be fantastic if we could help them. That is what's important. We throw the racket right there, sticks in the hand, flip it up in the air. Oh, I told you it was gonna be a crazy trick. I've got a racket, somehow it's defying gravity. It's a juggling trick, it's not magic. We're gonna spin it, spin it back the other way. I'm gonna spin it two times, two times. Whoa, two times back the other way. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. What? There it is. How many spins should we do? Everybody, if you're watching on a phone, a computer, who knows? Maybe you've got some kind of magical screen, an iPad an Android, all those things. Tell me, how many times should I spin it? Oh, I think I heard. Do as many as you want. That's right. This is why I've got a house. This got me a house. That's weird, isn't it? This, these skills that I have, bizarre and unusual. We're gonna go under the leg. Watch carefully. What? Hard way under the leg. Behind the back, maybe. Whoa, I'm like a chubby version of Cirque du Soleil. I'm Cirque du Buffet, everybody. Some people have a six pack, I have a two liter. Off the cymbal one time. That was nice. Two times off the cymbal. This is gonna be tricky. 
three times off the cymbal. One, two. That was it, we got it. We're gonna throw it up, spin around, and then catch it again. This racket's gonna do a 360, I'm gonna do a 360. It's the 720 at Don Bosco. Tuition Relief Fundraiser. Throw it up, spin around, catch it. Oh, there it is. That's not enough. We gotta go bigger. I have a wheelbarrow. I'm gonna balance it on my chin. While doing this, big trick, big donations. Let's do this. Michael Rayner, wasn't that great? Who balances a wheelbarrow on their head and juggles a tennis racket? I'm a big fan of Michael. Be ready, he performs a little later in the program. We are blessed with a community that supports our mission and commitment to Salesian education. When you attend the Tech, it is a family experience, and tonight you'll hear one family story. Please welcome current material science junior Elias Loya and his mother Monica. Uh, I'm Elias Loya. I am a junior at Bosco Tech and I am in EMSA. Uh, well, Bosco Tech has helped me grow as a student and a person because, well, first of all, I'm more accountable. Uh, I'm more assertive and I'm more responsible because I'm also taking on more leadership positions and I'm participating in a lot of clips. I am involved in the uh, Royal Tech Men Marching Band. I am a, the assistant drum major for the band. I'm in Key Club which helps out the community while also hanging out with other sisters and brother schools. I chose Bosco Tech after attending a open house at the school. Um, at first, when my parents told me that they wanted me to go to Bosco Tech, I actually didn't want to go to Bosco Tech uh, because it was a private school and it was all boys. But after attending the uh, open house, I, I changed my mind. The teachers were actually really nice. Uh, and then a lot of the people I met that day, like all of the kids, uh, they were really nice too. So Bosco Tech has helped me grow as a student and a person because, um, well, I'm more responsible now. Uh, I'm better with my time management and uh, I'm more assertive in, in all situations. So. I'm excited for our internship program because as a junior, I, I'm given the uh, ability to go to a, an internship at company, a big company such as like Boeing and stuff like that. I would tell an 8th grader that's considering Bosco Tech to first go to an open house too, so you can immerse yourself in the experience of what many students learn and then decide for yourself. Uh, the, the deciding factor in my decision to attend Bosco Tech was the community and the, the positive vibes that were going around when I attended the open house. My name is Monica Loya. Um, my son is Elias Loya. He's an 11th grader here at uh, Bosco Tech. We chose Bosco Tech because we heard a lot of good things about the school. We knew some alumni and we came and met the staff and we felt it would be a good fit for our son. I see a lot of changes in my son having started here. His, uh, again, his leadership skills. Uh, the classes are, are well suited to what he's interested in and um, not to be intimidated by the cost or it being a private school. Um, we came from a public school and it fit for us. Bosco helped our son become a better student, become a better leader, um, and we really feel he's more prepared for college once he graduates from Bosco Tech. We feel that the changes we've seen in him have been positive. He's more uh, focused on what he wants to study once he's done with school, uh, more focused on uh, college and uh, more focused on what kind of uh, career he wants to pursue once he's done with school. I would tell any parent who's considering Bosco Tech to come and see for themselves, bring their son to come and meet the staff, see the campus, and uh, you know, I think they'll really like what they see for themselves that it's a good fit for them as well. The deciding factor was that we felt that if this was the best place for him for, to meet his educational needs and to get him to the college that he desires to go to once he's done with school.
Thank you, Elias and Monica, for sharing your experience. We appreciate your participation in our video, your sincere reflection and thoughts. Your donation today will enable more students like Elias to discover their gifts and talents. Your gift is transformative, and it will help students find their voice, passion, and skills for college and career. Thanks to everyone that has already donated this evening. Included with auction items are our wish list items. These are items that you can sponsor that support various programs. Presenting the 2020 Corporate Honoree Award to Edison is our principal and class of 1981 Building Tech graduate, Mr. Jeff Kreinick. Thank you everyone for joining us this evening. What a great way for us to come together and celebrate. And what a wonderful opportunity to recognize those who have done so much for Bosco Tech. Tonight, it is my great honor to welcome and publicly thank Edison International for all that the organization has done for Bosco Tech and all that it has meant to us through the years. Joining us this evening is Mr. Robert Quintero, Edison International's Director of Government Relations. In 2017, Edison International President and CEO Pedro Pizarro came to the Tech campus to recognize a senior who had been named an Edison Scholar. At that time, Mr. Pizarro spoke of his organization's practical commitment to young people in their pursuit of studies in science, technology, engineering, and math. He spoke of his belief that students like this young man would make important contributions to our community and to society at large. That kind of forward thinking has been a hallmark of Edison's ongoing relationship with Bosco Tech. From sponsoring the Tech's robotics teams, to supporting the Tech's green and sustainable technology lab, to providing tuition assistance to students at need, to naming a Tech student an Edison International Scholar and enabling him to pursue his studies in chemistry through scholarship support, to hiring many Bosco Tech alumni through the years. Edison International has proven that it believes in young people and recognizes their ability to contribute to society. Since 1981, the publicly traded generator and distributor of electric power has given nearly half a million dollars to our school and its students, including matching employee charitable gifts to the school, and we are tremendously grateful. We are not alone in benefiting from such generosity and vision. Edison is known as a responsible and caring corporate neighbor throughout the community, contributing $23 million to local organizations in 2019 alone. We are truly blessed to call Edison International a neighbor and a more than generous friend of Bosco Tech. On behalf of our school and its community, I proudly present the 2020 Bosco Tech Gala Corporate Honoree Award to Mr. Quintero on behalf of Edison International. Mr. Quintero? First of all, I'd really like to thank everyone for their contribution over the years as it relates to Edison being a recipient of this award. Uh, but this could not have been received without the contribution of others such as Robert Curie, who has participated over the years and has contributed significantly over the years to the success of the students that attend Bosco Tech. One of the reasons I enjoy working at Southern California Edison is because we are an essential service. And we also create opportunities for the community. One of those opportunities is through our Edison Scholars Program. The Edison Scholars Program awards $40,000 to 30 high school students interested in the STEM field. On behalf of my colleagues at Edison International and Southern California Edison, I proudly accept tonight's award. Thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity to be part of this program. Thank you, Robert Quintero, for accepting the award on behalf of Edison. We look forward to continuing our partnership in serving young men and our community. Our band program has maintained wonderful success throughout the years, and currently they perform as a symphonic band, jazz band, and modified marching band for football games and special events. The band is led by Mr. Daniel Almanza, and they have won numerous top honors, such as the nationally recognized Heritage Awards. Please enjoy our symphonic band as they perform Counterbalance.
Thank you, Techman Band. Even with virtual challenges, they did a great job. Congratulations to Mr. Almanza, the band staff, and the students for their performance this evening. Great to see that the donations are coming in this evening. Thanks to everyone that has donated. Don't forget to check out our silent auction items. The auction closes at 8.30 tonight. Our next speaker has the fortune of presenting Bob Curry with the 2020 Honoree Award. He's a great friend of Bob and has worked here at the Tech for over 46 years. Please welcome Richard Ronan. Good evening. I'm Richard Ronan, the Registrar of the Institute. 60 years ago, a graduate of St. Mary's of the Assumption School in Whittier walked onto the campus of Don Bosco Tech as a member of the class of 1964. He majored in electronics, played on the football and basketball teams, graduated with distinction, went on to earn a political science degree at Whittier College, a typical Bosco success story. What makes this story unique, however, is that he remained a member of the faculty for the next 49 years. Clearly he heard and answered St. John Bosco's call to serve the young, and by his dedicated service has lived the Salesian charism. As a young instructor, he used his skill, knowledge, and passion to teach history, government, economics, and occasionally math and English. He coached basketball, baseball, and tennis teams, moderated clubs, and provided preventative assistance in the lunch area, basketball courts, and on the tech corridor. He courted and, courted and married Lydia, his bride of 51 years, and became the proud father of two, a son, Neil, graduate of electronics in 1989, and a daughter, Leslie. His success in the classroom led to administrative assignments, beginning with the establishment of the first summer school program. The success of this program led to additional administrative duties, and by 1981, he was named Dean of Academics. Here, he demonstrated the adage of a Jesuit philosopher, be content to act, leave the talking to others. He quietly and consistently worked to improve the school and its programs. He mastered the art of scheduling both classes and students. He developed and implemented the current block schedule. He pressed for the freshman technical rotation program. He established and expanded the Advanced Placement Program. He continuously sought to increase the use of digital technology for administrative purposes. He served every, on every accreditation committee during his tenure. He also championed the improvement of faculty benefits, including the establishment of a 401k retirement plan. A succession of presidents and principals relied upon him for advice and left to him the execution of the detailed work without which no school can function. He undertook it all patiently and carried it out flawlessly. He never sought the limelight, but was always there to ensure the smooth running and constant improvement of the tech. My personal experience with him goes back to my very first day on campus in 1974. He was the first member of the faculty to greet me. He helped me locate a vacant desk, introduced me to my chairman, Bob Healy, and a number of the campus legends, including Marie Bible, Mike Katar, Carl Hahn, and Brad Stoltz. He explained to me the working of the tumbling class schedule and the intricacies of the dual number academic room assignments. And he provided me with the most important advice of all, stay off them all. He has been a mentor, colleague, supervisor, and most of all, a great friend ever since. I have always relied upon him for his opinion and advice 
and have never been disappointed. Despite his self-proclaimed lack of a sense of humor, he has provided me with a million laughs and not one at my expense. Beyond the tech, he shared his hospitality of his home, lent me his books and tools, assisted me in installing basketball hoops and rebuilding redwood fences, and joined me in innumerable carpool journeys to and from the campus. He and Lydia are the godparents of our daughter, Bridget. He has inspired me with his quiet service to his school, his parish, and his fellow man. In all the years I have known him, he has only let me down once, and that was on the day he announced his impending retirement. Tonight we celebrate a man who has shared his many talents for the good of his students, colleagues, and this institute. He has lived up to the famous statement of St. John Bosco, work with your feet on earth, but in your heart be in heaven. I am honored to present to you one of Bosco Tech's top men, and I'm proud to present him with a 2020 Black and Gold Gala Award. Congratulations, Bob, on a job well done and a life well lived. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Bob Curry, and if you are watching this, then this must be the 2020 Bosco Tech Black and Gold on Gala Gala, and I must be one of the honorees. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for participating in this event. Your involvement is important in order to continue and advance the educational mission of the school. Having been part of the school's administration for nearly 50 years, I can assure you that everyone in the Bosco family, both past, present, and those to come, values your dedication and support. I would certainly like to express my gratitude to the school's leadership for having selected me as this year's honoree. Although when I was approached by Mr. Gutierrez, and after I suggested that he should make a better choice than myself, I certainly never expected to be honored in such a unique way, in such a unique time. I would next like to thank Richard Ronan for his introductory remarks. However, I must confess that with this format, I have no idea what he said about me. So, I'm taking it on blind faith and years of friendship that you did hear some nice things about me and my career at Bosco Tech. I should mention that Mr. Ronan and I have been friends for well over 40 years and have been carpool buddies, accreditation team members, and team members on dozens of projects and activities over the years. I should also mention that I am a godparent to one of Richard's children. In case they didn't mention it, I was responsible for several firsts here at the Tech. I was the first faculty member to grow a beard. The principal at the time, Father Schaefer, I believe, asked the athletic director to speak to me about it. When he asked me what the heck I was doing, I explained to him that when we took the Tech basketball team to Las Vegas, as one of my, as one of the coaches on the team, my job was to be a chaperone and to keep track of the kids. And during that time, when I would go try to keep track of the kids, I kept getting thrown off the floors in the casinos because everybody thought I looked too young. So I told him that this was my attempt to look older, to grow a beard. The next trip to Vegas, I was able to do a better job of chaperoning. And that was the whole purpose. And nobody said anything else after that point, so I guess I was okay with everybody. Another first I can brag about is that I and my wife Lydia were the first married couple to teach at the Tech. She was a part-time teacher in the drafting department, which made her the first female technology teacher in the school's history. And of course, at the time, I was a full-time teacher and coach. Whatever you may have heard or learned about my contributions to the growth of Bosco Tech over the years, I will say that I could not have accomplished anything without the support of various presidents and principals who trusted my judgment 
and were willing to give me opportunities and support for my proposals and recommendations. Everything that I accomplished also depended on my colleagues in the administration and the faculty being willing to give some of my ideas of support and participation. So my thanks to all those Salesian priests and brothers who hired me and trusted me and worked with me. My thanks also to all those faculty through the years, both lay and Salesian, who worked to implement the changes that continually improve Bosco Tech. At this time, I would like to acknowledge several individuals who were important to me as mentors and role models throughout my Bosco career. Sadly, many of these individuals have passed away, but regardless, they need to be acknowledged. At this time, I would like to take a minute or so and acknowledge several individuals who were important to me. I realize that most of you will not recognize these names. But, as I mentioned earlier, they're important to me. I'd like to acknowledge Father Tom Prendeville, who took a chance on an inexperienced, introverted young man just out of college and set me on the path that I would follow for the next 49 years. I'd next like to mention Mr. Tony Troncalli, the athletic director, who gave me opportunities to coach not only the sports I wanted to, like basketball, but also pushed me into sports that I didn't know much about, like cross country, tennis, and volleyball. And that helped me grow tremendously. I'd like to also acknowledge Dr. Ronald Gibson, who slowly but surely drew me into administrative tasks and responsibilities. He introduced me to the mysteries of curriculum and instructional supervision. Father Bill Schaefer also deserves mention. He supported me, appointed me to various administrative positions. It was Father Bill who first allowed me to schedule classes as well as lead accreditation teams. Mr. Frank Hayes, who built the first Bosco Tech student information system from scratch, both the hardware and software. My work with him and the student information system that he developed led me into managing Bosco student information systems for the next 35 or 40 years. Mr. Bill Rice, who taught me everything there was to know about student records. Mr. Max Fryfield and Mr. Bob Healy, who are my first department chairs and who served as mentors and guides as I began my classroom teaching. And Mr. John Lamb, who introduced AP classes to the tech, advanced placement classes for those of you that are not familiar with the terms, and who encouraged me to get involved in teaching AP classes on my own, which is what I did for the next 25 years. These are just some of the many individuals, administrators, members of the board of trustees, faculty, department chairs, accreditation team members, office staff, support staff, who helped me get to the point where I am being honored tonight. So in many ways, by honoring me, you are really honoring all those hundreds of faculty and staff and students and parents who I worked with and did my best to serve. Finally, I would indeed be remiss if I didn't acknowledge and thank my wife for 51 years, Lydia. Thanks for putting up with the late nights, working weekends, the bad moods brought on by scheduling or accreditation problems, and any of a hundred of other causes. You were truly the wind beneath my wings. In conclusion, let me say again, thank you all for this honor. Stay safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, practice social distancing as best you can, and as a former teacher of American government, be sure to vote in the upcoming election. Thank you. Congratulations, Bob. Thanks for your kind words and recognition of others who had a major impact in your service. We are very proud and happy for you. Okay, people, do you hear that? Do you hear that? That's Michael Rayner getting ready for another crazy stunt. This one is my favorite, so don't walk away. Michael Rayner, take it away. All right, it's come to that time. I need to do a trick that I'm the only one on the planet that does it. 
8 billion people. I'm the one. We have a cheeseburger, a parasol. I'm gonna show you right here it is. There's the burger. I'm gonna try to spin this burger so fast on that parasol that it unwraps itself. Then, if we're lucky, and only if we're lucky, pickles will fly out at the camera. Maybe it'll happen, maybe not. The cheeseburger escape. Oh, that's a tricky one. Oh, there it is. The cheeseburger escape. Now, let's see if those pickles want to come out today. Oh, there goes two pickles right away. You guys are lucky. Oh, there goes a third pickle. That was a sneaky pickle. I don't know how that just happened. We've got a spinning cheeseburger on a parasol. Oh, there goes a little bit of bread, a little bit of cheese. We're gonna try a tough trick. I hope this works today, folks. I'm gonna try to throw it up, catch it in the bottom, then catch it back on top. I might need two tries for this. It's so extreme, but we did it. And then we gotta go back on top, just like that. Now, what I'm gonna do is one of the most difficult of the cheeseburger tricks around. I'm gonna throw it up, kick it off my knee, back under the top of the parasol. Extreme cheeseburger work. Oh! What just happened? You got out your wallet, your credit card, you're making a donation for tuition and me. Because you love that trick so much. This is it. We're gonna go up, down. There it is. Now, we're not done. We gotta move to the next parasol. And we've got to move to this burger over here because I've already spun that one a little bit so it's a little bit compromised. We have a cheeseburger right here. We also have fire fluid. I'm going to ignite that burger while spinning, spinning it on this parasol. I hope this ignites some donations too. Let me get the fire fluid on there. Oh, it's looking good. Looking good. This is what you call flame broiled. I'm just gonna hold, flame broiled, get it? All right, there we go, there we go. We've got a cheeseburger, we've got fire fluid. I'm going to spin the flaming cheeseburger on a parasol. All right, this is it. Start up the blowtorch. Start the spinning of the burger. And now light the burger on fire. Oh, that's what we wanted. Get that on camera. Show this to everybody. This is what we do here at Don Bosco. We ignite the donations. Oh, look at that. We had a fire escape. That was very exciting. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Michael Raynor, thank you for the wacky entertainment. Where does he come up with these stunts? Who lights a cheeseburger on fire and spins it on a parasol? This guy is crazy. Well, this brings us to the end of our program, but before we depart, I want to thank you for attending tonight. We are blessed with your presence and we are grateful for your gifts and prayers. Thanks to our sponsors, participants, presenters, honorees, and performers. Special thanks to our videographer, Pablo Aguilar, class of 88, drafting and design, for helping us make our virtual gala a reality. The auction will close at 8.30, but the donation and wish list will stay open for one more week. Good night and God bless. Thank you very much.